Hey, John Cristani here, affiliate marketer and tech entrepreneur, and I'm gonna be going over CPA marketing, what it is, how to do it. I'm gonna give you some network suggestions and show you some pro tips. I'm gonna go step-by-step step through exactly what CPA is, kind of what the difference is between CPA and some of the other options are. I'll also be talking about the top CPA networks in this video and what sort of offers they have, why to join them. I'll also be going over pros and cons of CPA marketing, as well as going over some really pro tips from somebody who's made millions and millions and millions of dollars in CPA marketing. This is how I got my start. This is how at 22 years old, I was able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So I have a lot of experience in this space. I still do affiliate marketing and make over half a million dollars a month now. I live out here in Malibu. You might be able to see the, the winds blowing up here on top of the mountain, but really excited to share this information with you. If you're interested in getting into CPA marketing, it's gonna help you a lot. So with further ado, let's get it. Hey, so if you haven't heard about me, my name is John Cristani and I do affiliate marketing for a living. I do a lot of affiliate marketing. You can look up, there's an article about me in Forbes back you know, when I was in my 20s and I was earning over $500,000 a month, which is just insane if you think about it. It's been really fun. It's CPA marketing is such an easy spot to make money and it, there's a lot of money in it. There's just endless potential. I actually teach people how to do affiliate marketing and CPA marketing in a training course I have called the Super Affiliate System. I've written books about this. So I know a little bit about the subject and I actually even started my own CPA affiliate network years ago. So a lot of experience from both sides, from both being an affiliate and being a network owner. Now, CPA stands for cost per action. And if we just look up the dictionary definition, basically you're paying for somebody to take a specific action on a website. That can be any number of things. So an action can be making a phone call. It can be installing an app. It can be buying a product. It can be signing up for a free trial. It can be any number of things. It can be clicking on something. Action can be anything. So really you're just getting paid for leads or sales or installs or phone calls, any number of ways to market. And the price varies. The di main difference of CPA or the main opposite of it is rev share. So most affiliate programs work off of a rev share basis, which means that you get a percentage of what anybody buys. Whereas in CPA, you just get whatever the company thinks it's worth, which means you can make a lot more than 100% because the most you can make in a revenue sharing arrangement is 100%. Whereas in CPA, you can make a thousand percent of what somebody buys a product for. Or if somebody installs a free app, you can make money when your friends install a free phone app, right? That's incredible. So there's a lot of possibilities in CPA marketing. Also, there's a lot of fraud, which comes with that, but we won't talk about that just yet. Next, we'll go on to talking about CPA networks. Now, the top two networks that I've worked with and I recommend and that have been around for years, which is a good sign, is A4D, which also stands for Ads for Dough, and it's started by my friend Jason Akatif, and there's a link down in the description for where you can sign up for Ads for Dough, and if you go through my link, you have a much better chance of being accepted, which is another sort of subject I'll talk about in just a little bit here. Max Bounty is another really good affiliate network with a wide range of offers. I suggest you get started with these two, but there are literally so many other CPA networks out there. I'll also put a link to my resource file where I will have a fuller list of CPA networks. I also suggest if you're trying to get accepted into a CPA network to join and start making money, it's very synonymous with affiliate networks. There's a ton down in the links in the description. Sign up for as many of those as you possibly can. That way you'll have the best chance of being accepted. Or just go through my course, Super Affiliate System, where I train people how to be affiliate marketers and you're guaranteed acceptance 
into a number of affiliate networks. Now, before we go into that, I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of CPA marketing. Now, the pros are that it's the most aggressive. It's most aggressive commissions. You can make the best money in CPA marketing. A lot of the biggest affiliate marketers out there are on CPA affiliate networks. Very aggressive commission structure. If you can get somebody to spend $3.95, then some companies will pay you up to $50 just for getting a customer to spend $3 with them or $4. So literally, you are earning over a thousand percent of what people spend, which you won't get that on ClickBank. You won't get that on Digistore. You won't get that on most affiliate networks, whereas on CPA networks, they, they have companies that are willing to spend a thousand percent of the money they receive from the customers. So you get just monster money here, right? It's not hard to do marketing and get somebody to spend a couple bucks. It's really not. But to be able to earn $50 from that, whoa. Okay, so I was doing this and I was earning 40 bucks and I was doing about a thousand sales a day of a product that was $3.95 and I was able to earn $40,000 in a single day. So, or cl it was close to that, it was like 38 something. So you can earn a lot, a lot of money from CPA marketing. And I was doing this for years. One of my best years was 2015, where I earned $2.9 million doing marketing. It was just me. And a million of that was profit. And this is, this is when I was in my mid 20s. You know, so for somebody who's single in his 20s, making over a million dollars profit a year, I mean, it, it was it was, a, it was wild, right? I traveled the world, I learned kite surfing, I was skiing, I was hanging out with celebrities, doing all sorts of crazy stuff, a lot of fun, and you know, I, I, I love CPA marketing for that. Now, another thing about it is that CPA networks accept any country and any age. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're one years old. Get your kids on this. Folks, get your kids doing marketing. It's good practice and it could earn you money. And, and no matter what country, even if you're from Nigeria, I know I have a lot of Nigerians here that are looking to learn how to make money online. CPA networks will accept anybody from Nigeria. Well, you'll see there's acceptance problems, but they don't have anything against Nigerians, which is great. And the other pro of CPA marketing is that there's lots of options to get paid out. CPA networks are more flexible than affiliate networks like ClickBank or Digistore. So you can get paid out through Western Union, through Bitcoin, through all manner of methods. Okay because CPA networks are used to working with people that are in weird countries or have weird payment situations. Now, the cons, the negative sides of CPA marketing is that it's oftentimes non-compliant, very oftentimes non-compliant marketing, whether it's the way the links are done or whether it's the offer themselves or the claims that are being made. It makes it hard to advertise them. It makes it hard to link to them. So doing marketing CPA network offers through paid advertising is very difficult, okay? And the rules are constantly changing. Now, back when I was advertising CPA offers, it was fun, right? I didn't have any problems advertising on Facebook or Taboola, but as times have gone on, things, you know, they have different requirements. Facebook doesn't like you promoting free trials. That's what I was promoting. I was promoting a trial offer. The company would make money. They would charge them $4 the first month, and then they'd charge them $40 the next month. Facebook doesn't like those sorts of products anymore. Facebook doesn't like nutritional supplements anymore. I was advertising a lot of nutritional supplements on on Facebook, but they don't really like that anymore. They're fine with skincare, they're fine with other niches, but just not my specific thing. So there's a lot of non-compliant offers, weight loss pills. Most ad networks will not allow you to advertise weight loss pills. It's not because they don't sell well, it's because they sell so well actually. They're prone to fraud, okay? There's so many companies that sell weight loss pills. Another problem with CPA networks is that you need to be accepted, and that in order to be accepted, generally speaking, CPA networks are looking for affiliates that have accepted experience, that have history of revenues. Okay, if you are a newbie starting out, and let me know, if you're a newbie that's never made a dollar online before, type in newbie in the comments below, but if you've never made a dollar online before, my assumption is you have lots of questions. I get emails every day from random people following me saying, John, give me money, or John, be my mentor. You know, John, stop spending so much time with your wife and kids and kite surfing and spend time with me. You know, I, I'm gonna spend time with my wife and kids, thank you very much. But you need to be accepted and that's hard because you can be accepted, but you need to do a few things. I'm gonna give you a few tips in the pro tips section to give you 
advice on how to be accepted by affiliate networks, even if you've never earned a dollar. And lastly, is that CPA networks offer little no, no, to no support. Even if you're accepted, don't start asking a million questions because they're not gonna answer you. They'll probably kick you out of the network. Again, CPA networks, you should know how to market already. You should know how to be an affiliate. You should have hopefully have earned affiliate commissions from some other place such as ClickBank or Digistore, which are my two top recommended networks to join and start making money with as an affiliate marketer. And those links are down in the description. So the negatives are real. You need to have made money. And most of the people on my channel, I've pulled them, I've pulled you, have not made money online yet. So that's gonna be hard for a lot of people. Now let's go into some of the pro tips for doing CPA marketing. First off, you should be comfortable creating your own landers, landing pages, landing pages, landing pages. You're not gonna make a lot of money in CPA marketing if you're not using landing pages. Very important. I've known people who have direct link to CPA offers. One of my good friends, Josh has, but chances are, unless you are hyper advanced, you're not gonna be able to do that. So learn how to use landing pages. And if you wanna learn how to set up a website in five minutes, I have a video somewhere in a bubble around me that'll show you how to set up a website in just five minutes. Also, I suggest you test multiple offers, okay? If you're in the weight loss niche, for instance, I would be testing maybe five different weight loss products every single day from different networks. I'm always seeing which converts the best. And in order to do that, you also need to set up your landing pages. So this is a marketing term. So they're what's called blind or offer blind, if you wanna be more exact. Exact. I'll set up my pages so they're offer blind so it doesn't really matter what product I'm promoting. People are just looking for a weight loss pill. And then I would promote whatever product. I test five every day to see which ones work the best, which one converts my traffic the best. And the number I looked at is called EPC, earnings per click. And more technically speaking, that's earnings per click from my landing page. And lastly is test different networks. Oftentimes the same product is listed on multiple different networks and different networks do, do a practice what's called shaving, okay? So shaving means that let's say you get a hundred sales. The network would only let you know about 80 of them. How would you know? How do you know if people bought or didn't? You, Probably don't. In 99.9% .9 of cases, you won't know if your affiliate network is actually shaving some sales, some revenue off the top. This is one of the ways where networks earn extra money. Now, if I was sending a thousand sales a day, now a thousand times 40, that's an extra $4,000 that that affiliate network could be making every single day if I wasn't looking over my data correctly. Now, all of this may seem pretty advanced, okay? And it is, it is quite advanced. And there's a lot of stuff to learn. But if a non-technical, non-educated, person like myself can earn $40,000, close to $40,000 in a day, over $500,000 in a month, do it with very little work, I think it's worth it. I think it's very worth it to learn all this jargon. And if you're looking to learn more, I've trained a lot of people how to do this, how to make a lot of money through affiliate marketing, through my six week course called the Super Affiliate System. And I've taught thousands of people now and I have tons of testimonials. And without me speaking more about my system where I teach paid advertising and affiliate marketing, it'll be better just to check out some of these testimonials from successful students of mine. John, absolutely one of the best teachers there are. Uh, he teaches you the stuff that most people won't teach you. I think he provides value at the end of the day, you know? He's a guy that you can trust. He's a guy that you can learn from. And I just saw right away that John is just like a visionary. Now, a few words on getting accepted by affiliate networks would be, you know, know your niche. If you don't know what you're gonna advertise, if you're just like, I just wanna see, I just wanna be accepted and get, you know, see offers, they're probably not gonna accept you because they have, you're probably a looky-loo. You're probably just following the next shiny object around and you're probably not gonna do anything, not send any traffic, not making them any money. Another word of advice is to, you know, try making money with ClickBank or Digistore before you go after CPA networks. ClickBank or Digistore are the best affiliate networks in my opinion. And if you wanna try advertising non-compliant offers, that's great, but I find it much better to advertise stuff that works with ad networks. You can advertise my programs, which are done through ClickBank and Digistore store. You can advertise them on Google. You can advertise them on Facebook. You can advertise them on YouTube. You can't do that with most CPA offers. So keep that in mind. And third, learn how to build a landing page. If you don't know how to build a landing page, learn. I have videos where I show how to use ClickFunnels, which is a great program
program, which I use to build all of my landing pages. You should be familiar with marketing before you join CPA networks. And again, you should also be comfortable promoting stuff that, you know, again, you're probably gonna have to go against the rules and terms and conditions of Facebook, Google, Instagram, YouTube, of really anything that you are any major social network, you're gonna probably go against the terms and conditions of that social network or of that ad network that you're using. So you have to be comfortable going against the rules of those networks because many of them have clamped down on CPA offers. I believe it's much better to advertise stuff that goes with the rules that works. And networks such as Digistore and ClickBank have plenty of offers that affiliates are making 100,000 plus per day with through advertising compliantly on other ad networks if you're looking for that scale. Woo, so that was a lot of stuff and I brought in a lot of jargon and terminology. Let me know if this was way over your head or if you understood what I was talking about all the way. And also, if you could give me a little bit of feedback, was it too fast? Do you feel like I brushed over concepts too much or was it too slow? Do you feel like I told too many stories or you know, I repeated myself too much? I'm Irish, so that's just something we do. Or was it just right? Also, make sure if you wanna see more videos like this, if you wanna learn how to do marketing, if you wanna learn how to actually make, be an affiliate marketer and make a lot of money, I suggest you subscribe to my channel, enable all notifications. I also suggest really the best thing is gonna be to get my training course. There is a link in the description to a webinar which explains a little bit more about my training course and how to use it to learn affiliate marketing. Great first way to build wealth and income. Also, we have communities in terms of we have a Discord chat channel, we have a subreddit forum, and we have a Facebook group. If you wanna interact with other people, I get too many messages a day. If you're looking for me to be your mentor, give you money, I get so many messages. Be my mentor, John. Give me money, John. I ignore all of those, okay? So anybody watching, I ignore all of those, but I've created communities for you guys to interact in, get your questions answered, and just interact, create joint ventures, do whatever you need to do to get advanced and advance in marketing. So I'm super dedicated to you here. Make sure you subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you every day on this channel. Same time, every single day, coming out with marketing videos to help you make money. Talk to you soon.